Hello, my friends. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here to talk to you today about the most painful aspect of network marketing, the most painful thing that a network marketer has to endure if they hope to have success in our business. There's something about network marketing. It's really an interesting thing. The um, It's an emotional business. It's a very emotional business. More than most people think. When you, when you join network marketing, you don't expect that <laughs> there's going to be so many ups and downs. There's so many ups and downs. I mean, my gosh, uh, you, you have huge highs and huge lows and it's kind of lonely at times and there's expectations that are not always the easiest to kind of uh, endure. So it's really an interesting time. Um, I, I've been involved in this profession for 32 years now, 32 years. And in those 32 years, uh, I've learned about the emotional highs and lows. And part of it is expectations not being met. Part of it is, well, it's it's mostly expectations because when, when I first joined, let me tell you, and I expected that my friends, family, people that I knew would at least be willing to take a look. I thought they'd at least be willing to look, to check it out, to, you know, evaluate it. Nope. I was shocked when I would just ask people to take a look and they would run away. I was shocked that there was so much misconception about network marketing. I was shocked that I felt like I had to chase people. Have you ever felt like you had to chase people? If you ever felt like you had to chase people, throw a number seven into the comments. If you feel, felt like you ever had to chase somebody to be able to have them just take a look, put a seven into the comments. I'd like to see if, if that was just me or if you've experienced the same thing. It, it was emotionally interesting, to say the least, to find a way to get people to take a look. And it was, it was, um, there was so many times when I, if I would have had something else to do, I would have quit. You know why you hear so many rags to riches stories in network marketing? Because they don't have a lot of options. If they have other options, when it gets hard, when network marketing gets hard, emotional, tough, it's pretty easy to go back to your job that you're good at or go back to your business that you started or find a way to do something else because that's emotional. Um, but I got to tell you something. I learned how to crack the code. All the pain around network marketing stems around one simple aspect of our business. And you know what it is? Recruiting. Recruiting. Because all of us, I mean, if you believe in um, your product, it's not hard to share your product. Let me tell you this thing. It, you know, it'll probably help you. Probably help you. And if, and if you like it, you can use it. If you don't, that's, that's cool. Pretty easy to share the product. Uh, and once you have somebody on your team, the, the fam, at least for me, the family vibe of just being connected to that community was fun for me and I enjoyed it. But the recruiting thing, especially for me as a, an introverted person, okay? As an introverted person, I was, uh, I, I didn't want to impose. I didn't want to bother someone. I didn't want to 
uh, have somebody feel like I was chasing them or I needed them or whatever. But I need it in order to be able, because here's, here's the, the, the important part about recruiting that you need to understand. You can only sell so much product yourself. Let's assume that you have a product that is just amazing. It changes the world, right? If you're the only one selling it, you can't change the world. You can only change the people you can reach. And it's a pretty small group of people that you can reach. So in order to have more scale, more reach, more leverage in your business, then what you need to do is build a bigger team. The team itself can reach more people. The team can reach more people with your product or service. So there are several aspects of recruiting that were particularly painful for me. One, getting people to take a look for me personally, was a way bigger challenge than I expected. I finally learned how to crack that code and I'm gonna teach you how to overcome that problem and not have an issue when it comes to getting people to take a look, okay? So don't stress, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna leave you here. Oh, dude, please, please, please. Don't spam this page, knock it off. It's knock it off. I have to block you, you're blocked. Gone, see ya. We still there? We still live? Cool, I had to block somebody, sorry. Just don't spam the page. Um, so, one, I learned how to crack the code and get people to take a look. And if I got them to take a look and I could educate them on uh, what I had, then I could, uh, I could have good success having them join my business. The second aspect that was particularly painful was... My team couldn't recruit. I don't know if you've ever had this. Put a number five into the comments if you've ever had this. You, you can sponsor a bunch of people, but they can't. So you got a bunch of people in your group looking at you, and they can't get people going inside of their organization. And you're like, well, come on, guys. I figured it out. You just go, 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 go. You could figure it out, too. So it's just like, oh. You know, I remember sponsoring, you know, 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, and they're all just looking at me. And even the ones that they recruited, I helped, had to help them recruit them. They weren't able to do it on their own. So I see a lot of you have the same problem. It's just like, oh, man, come on, get going. You can make this thing happen. So I decided that I wanted to do something for the network marketing community including you, everybody on your team, to help you overcome the most painful thing about network marketing, and I wanna do it for free. We are, in just seven days, seven days from right now, we're going to hold a seven-day recruiting challenge for free. The GoPro seven-day recruiting challenge. And every day, for seven straight days, I'm going to teach you with some of my most amazing recruiting successful friends how to, number one, be able to recruit on demand. If you are part of this, you'll be able to recruit on demand. Number two, I will show you how to teach your team how to do the same thing. And if you load your team up inside of this free challenge, I'll help everybody overcome the most painful aspect of network marketing in just seven days. Not only am I gonna teach you, but we're gonna actually recruit during the seven days. So let me give you a link. 
goprorecruitingchallenge.com. Like I said, it's free. It's a gift to the network marketing profession. goprorecruitingchallenge.com. goprorecruitingchallenge.com. You can register. Let me put in there. GoPro Recruiting Challenge.com. We got that. Okay, so GoPro Recruiting Challenge.com. Now, I'm going to answer some questions from anybody who would like to ask them. Um, hold on one second. So if you've got questions, uh, start typing the questions into the comments and I'll pick some of you and I'll start answering some of the questions. But let me tell you who's going, how this is gonna work. Every day at 11 a.m. Pacific time, I'm going to train you how to become a recruiting machine. About a 90 minute training. I'm gonna do about 20 minutes. Then I have two of my most amazing uh, recruiting friends that are gonna share their secrets. And then I've got a celebrity, big thought leader gonna come in and help you. So let me tell you about um, some of the celebrities as, as an example. Um, Mr. Les Brown, if you've ever heard of Les Brown, He's going to be helping you overcome your fears and, and face what you need to face in order to be able to be successful. What in the world? This person. Block this person. Stop spamming the page. Just so annoying. Um, so Les Brown, Dean Graziosi, Marie Forleo, uh, Fraser Brooks, Grant Cardone, um, Pete Vargas, who else? Who am I missing? Uh, there's more. Dean Graziosi, did I say that Dean Graziosi? He's gonna be part of it. It's gonna be amazing. Um, so let me tell you what I'm gonna be teaching you. I'm actually, those of you who, who uh, register for this, GoPro um, recruitingchallenge.com. Those of you who register tomorrow, November 4th at 11 a.m. Pacific, I'm going to teach you how to prepare for this challenge. And this very, very important aspect of recruiting, the preparation phase, I will teach you how to prepare. Okay? So tomorrow. So make sure you get registered today. Make sure you tell your friends to do that. So during the recruiting process, here's what I'm going to teach you. Number one how to build your belief about network marketing. Because if you believe strong enough, you'll be much, much more successful. Number two, how to never run out of quality prospects to talk to. If you're stressed that you don't know enough people, live in too small of a town or any of those types of things, don't worry about that. We will show you how to never run out of people to talk to. Number three, I'm gonna teach you how to invite. This is the gateway skill of network marketing. How do you invite somebody to take a look? Our job in network marketing is not necessarily to sell or to recruit. Our job is to educate people about what we have. Our job is to educate people to the point that they understand what we have. So I'm gonna help you build your belief. I'm gonna teach you how to never run out of quality prospects. I'm going to show you specifically how to invite and get people to take a look so you can educate them about what you have. I'm going to show you how to present, even if you're nervous, even if you're scared, even if you're intimidated, even if you're introverted, how can you present what you have in a way that works and also duplicates? I'm going to also teach you how to, to handle any objection. Any question, objections used to terrify me. I used to just be terrified. 
of when people ask me questions or, or threw objections at me. I used to be terrified. And I stopped being terrified. Okay? I learned how to not only handle those, but use those as a tool to be able to grow my business. So follow up, keeping in conversation, questions and objections. And finally, I'm going to teach you how to help a person make a decision to join. Because I'm sure you have tons of people in your organization or, or in your prospect list that are thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Tons that are thinking about it. I'll help you get past thinking about it and into joining without twisting arms, without trying to convince somebody to do something they don't want to do, but help them make a decision as a professional. Okay? So I'm going to teach you the whole cycle. And then I've got my top most successful friends. These people have recruited thousands of people. They're going to teach you how they do it exactly. They're going to teach you how they use social media. They're going to teach you how they find prospects. They're going to teach you how they're presenting. They're going to teach you how they're following up and how they're utilizing their upline and how they're utilizing Zoom and three-way calls and everything else. Exactly. They're going to give you their scripts. They're going to give you all these different things. It's going to be spectacular. There's already a 100,000 people registered for this free challenge. You and your team need to be a part of it. Now, listen, before I go to some questions, and if you've got questions, start typing them in and I'll answer your questions. Um, um, I'm, 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 what was I going to tell you? Before I uh, do that, da, 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 da. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. Make sure that you register for this. I'm going to teach you the whole whole recruiting cycle from beginning to end. We're going to have some of the greatest thought leaders help you have an emotional breakthrough. And with the top recruiters around the world are going to teach you exactly what they're doing in order to be able to recruit. Now, the goal is not just to teach you how to recruit. The goal is that you're actually going to have success recruiting during the seven days. From the 11th to the 17th, my goal Minimum, minimum goal. I mean, it's not even a goal. It's a minimum expectation that every person that joins this challenge will have at least, at least one recruit on average during the seven days. Okay. My goal is five recruits per person, but my goal is at least one. So if you, you have 100 people on your team, if you get 100 people to attend this challenge, then at the end of the challenge, it's a very realistic expectation. You're going to have a, you're going to have doubled the size of your team in seven days. Okay. So put what your goal is. What is your goal? Like Aaron Hamilton says five is, is her goal. Congratulations. What's your goal? Penny says her goal is seven. Who else? What's your goal? Tony asks, how do you have an endless supply of prospects if you're staying home 99% of the time due to COVID? Guess how? You're on it right now. This is a vehicle to reach the entire world. You just have to do it skillfully. There's literally, and I'm going to show you a whole bunch of ways to do it without being spammy and without being weird, without, you know, posting links all over the place and bothering people, how to never, ever run out of prospects. Don't worry about it. There's 7 billion people in the world. I'll show you how to get to them because I felt before like, well, there might be 7 billion, but I don't know those 7 billion. Um, Michelle says 10 new recruits. Joy says nine. Jason says 10,000 people by December. That's pretty awesome. COVID-19 is my partner. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Marie, here's what I would tell you. It's at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm guessing that's about 7 or 8 p.m. Um, your time. Thank you. 7 or 8 p.m. your time. So something like that. But 
Google time zone converter and just plug in 11 a.m. Pacific time and that'll tell you what time. And you'll be able to have 24 hours every day to be able to watch the replay of that before it disappears. So don't worry about it. You'll be able to do it. Um, some have told me to take it slow, don't overthink it, but I tend to move a thousand percent. What's your opinion? Jennifer, your instinct is accurate. I think slow and steady does not win the race. I think you gotta go. If you're gonna do it, do it. If you're gonna recruit, recruit. Um, I love your thousand percent kind of uh, philosophy. I believe that success loves speed. Success loves speed. There's going to be more rank advancements, more growth, more recruiting coming out of this um, to, than, than you're going to imagine. Uh, all right, who, who else has a question? Jason said, my team got over 1,000 new recruits in October. Congratulations, Jason. Well done. Who else? Okay. What would you say when you start to prospect someone and they ask immediately what company you're with? What are they telling you? They're telling you that whatever you're doing is uh, sort of a dog whistle that sounds like every other pitch that they've been through before. So there's something in your approach that's like, oh, okay, whoa, 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 slow down. So I will show you very specifically in this training, and we're going to start it tomorrow, actually, at 11 a.m. I will show you how to, I mean, you, you know what's one of my favorite things now? It used to terrify me. It was one of my favorite things now. When somebody hates network marketing. If they just think, oh, God, is this one of those things? I hate network marketing. If they say they hate network marketing, I have, it's the great, I will show you literally step by step how to turn that into a positive situation. I actually search for people who hate network marketing now to be able to have the conversation because I can show them how to take that passion and put it into growing a business. If somebody says that they hate it, that, that's, that's somebody that's going to join it at some point, I promise you. Uh, does it work for any company? Uh, absolutely. What I'm going to teach you is going to work for any company. How do you gain trust with prospects? The way you gain trust, Michelle, the way you gain trust is by being a real person and being more interested in education and helping somebody understand what you have than being interested in making a sale or getting a recruit. If you're more interested in education than you are in acquisition, then it's going to build trust for sure. If you're a real person, if you're not just like, you know, desperate, and hungry and freaking out. Um, you're going to have more success. And again, uh, the Wednesday call, the, the tomorrow's call is going to be available for uh, 24 hours as well as what we start on the 11th. Every one of these training sessions is going to be available for 24 hours before the next session goes up. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, GoProRecruitingChallenge.com, GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. Whoever gets the most people into this challenge is going to win. How do you experience a breakthrough in network marketing? How do you experience a breakthrough in network marketing? Number one, make a decision that you're going to do it no matter what. You're going to the top. My breakthrough started when I made the decision. It was the most important decision of my life professionally. Make a decision, number one. Number two, learn some skills. The skills will build confidence. With the confidence, you'll take more action. And with the action, you'll get better results. The skills were critical for me. Instead of just faking it and crossing your fingers, hoping for the best, learn some skills. Number three, success loves speed. Decide to go hard. I, what helped me as an introverted person in network marketing, what helped me is a project. 
something that had a beginning, middle, and an end. Like this challenge is right down my alley. Seven days, I'm going to face my fear for seven days. Seven days, I'm going to just do this recruiting task and follow instructions. Seven days, it's going to start on the 11th. I'll do some preparation training before. I'll get ready. But it's going to start on the 11th. It's going to end on the 17th. And I'm going to accomplish something during those seven days. That, that type of thing helps me have a breakthrough. Because I'm, I, I find that I can motivate myself in shorter time frames that has a beginning, middle, and an end versus just go re, you know, talk to people every day for the rest of your life. As an introvert, that's not a fun idea. Um, I need a project to help me have a breakthrough. I, where I, a place where I can increase the intensity and from that increase of intensity, have that breakthrough, get to the next, that next level. Nicola, I hope that helped you. Um, What can I do to swing myself into action? Because most of the time I feel overwhelmed. Same answer. Same answer. I get overwhelmed as well. And I also get bored really easily. A project. Give yourself a project. You know what successful people do? They say yes to something like this. They tell the whole world that they're going to do it. And then they figure it out. So say yes to this project. Seven days. It's free. It's free. Come on. Go ProRecruitingChallenge.com. Get yourself registered. Get, and make your, sure your team does the same thing. Most of you have this gap between what you could be doing and what you should be doing and what you're actually doing. And part of that's mental and part of that skill and part of that is needing a project and part of that's old programming. We're going to help you with all of those things. Okay? That'll help you. Um, what's one habit that's helped you become successful, Michael asks? Hmm. One, I, I was a pretty terrible student in formal education. I barely escaped high school. Um, I decided to become a great student once I joined network marketing. So I read more than most people I know. I study more. I, I pay attention more. I fill up journals. I take notes. And I put those notes into action quickly. I put them into practice quickly. That probably the, has contributed more to my growth and success than anything. But when you take that on top of being project-minded, on top of um, working to stay consistent, I'm still kind of a little bit insecure about my consistency because I struggle with consistency, but I'm reasonably consistent. You know, most people I found out are very inconsistent. I'm reasonably consistent. And because I'm reasonably consistent and I'm getting better every day, then that's probably helped me become more successful than anything else, getting better every day and really focusing on that. All right. Answer some more questions. Oh, Christine got the, the Strength Finders book. Yeah, that's a great book. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com, GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. What's the most important skill in network marketing? The Millionaire's Channel. Uh, well, I would say inviting is the gateway skill. Of the seven fundamental skills, you've got finding prospects, inviting, presenting, follow-up, closing, getting people started, promoting events. Okay. Inviting is, is the gateway skill, because if you don't figure that out, you can't have success in network marketing. If you figure that out, you can, you know, you, you, you've got a, an entry point. But if you can't build a team at all, you can't get any scale. So I would say that's probably the gateway, the highest paid skill in network marketing. They're all important, but the highest paid skill is um, promoting events. Like, I'll give you an example. If you move heaven and earth and get all of the people inside of your team to be part of this challenge, every one of them to be part of this challenge, 
you can double your team in seven days. That will do more for you than you could do personally ever. So you got 10 people on your team and get all 10 into this challenge. You go from 10 to 20 in seven days. You got a thousand people on your team. You get a thousand people into this challenge. You go from a thousand to 2000 in seven days. You got 10,000 people on your team. Same thing. You go from 10,000 to 20,000 in seven days, but it takes a, a serious promoter to be able to accomplish the fact that those 10,000 people click on the button and register, even though it's free. Right? So that's the difference between superstars and average. So I would say inviting is the gateway skill, probably most important for the average person. Promoting events is the highest paid skill because it, it creates the most leverage. Okay? So again, if you're just joining, GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. Uh, do this for me. Um, put into the comments. Give me a type of number one into the comments, wherever you're at, a number one into the comments, if you're going to be part of this challenge. Okay? Each day, 90 minutes a day, um, we're going to be training. 11th to 17th. So put a number one into the comments if you're going to be part of the challenge. Okay? And no tourists. No tourists sitting back there too cool to even type a, a number one. Why are you even watching? Come on. Let's go. Um, put a one into the comments if you're going to be part of the challenge. And while you're doing that, Naval Day says, please share how to handle rejection without getting emotional. See, the biggest trick for rejection was understanding that my goal was not to sign them up or sell them something. My goal was to educate them. It's hard to feel emotional if I'm trying to educate somebody and they're rejecting education. I learn to emotionally detach from the result in every conversation. And I'm there to, I have the gift, right? Some people say, no, thanks. I don't want the gift. I have the gift. So if they don't want to accept the gift, it's too bad for them, right? So I learn to separate my emotions from the actual um, circumstance. Now, you know, when you go talk to your brother and your brother says, hey, Navel, you're an idiot. That's not fun. Right. But I also learned even with that to put a smile on my face, love in my heart, to trade my expectation of them supporting me for appreciation that I have an opportunity, even if they don't see it. So I learned to to disconnect from the emotional aspects of it and just roll with it, you know? I make it sound so easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it easy, brother. Um, I'll show you. Just, you know, join the challenge and I will show you. So goprorecruitingchallenge.com, goprorecruitingchallenge.com. Now I have another question for you. How many people do you currently have on your team? Put the number into the comments. How many people do you have on your team? Okay. How many people? And while you're doing that, how to start believing in yourself when you're stuck for a long time? Look, you know how many people I've worked with and I know that were stuck for years? One of, the, one of my friends, his name is Jordan Adler. Uh, I want you to hear his story, okay? Jordan Adler, he's going to teach you during this, this seven-day challenge, goprorecruitingchallenge.com. Jordan Adler joined 13 companies and never, over the course of like 10 years, and never sponsored one person. 13 companies, never sponsored one person. Today, as of today, he's earned about $25 million dollars in network marketing commissions. And he's going to talk about how he had his breakthrough. He's built a huge organization, million dollar a year earner. 
and he's going to show you. So don't stress. If you've been stuck for a long time, just trust me, trust the process. So Mark has 12 people on his team. Mark, you get all 12 people into this challenge. We're going to take it from 12 to 24 minimum over the course of seven days. Marcy has 337. Marcy, if you do whatever you have to do, even if you have to talk to all 337 of those people in the next seven days to get them in this challenge before it starts, what would happen if your organization went from 337 to double that number in seven days? How many rank advancements? How big would the Christmas checks be, right? How much volume would happen? Huge, right? Huge. Donnie has 23. Donnie, you get those 23 into this challenge. I don't care if it's kicking and screaming. If they participate in this challenge with us, we can take that 23 to a 46 in seven days. Really and no kidding. Valerie, the 64 can be 128 for real. You have no one on your team, then get into this challenge and let's help you go recruit five, six, seven, eight people over the course of seven days. Let's make it happen. You can do this. 24, only four are active. Most people are tourists in network marketing. That's okay. If we could take those four to an eight. Would that be good? Take the four to an eight in seven days? Pusta workout says 50. Let's go from 50 to 100 in seven days. Nelson says 1,589. Congratulations. Let's take that to over 3,000 in seven days. But here's the thing. You won't be able to go to over 3,000 unless you get all of them to be part of the challenge. Now, I can't make it much easier. I've got some of the biggest celebrity names in the world. I've got some of the best recruiters in the world. And I'm not bad when it comes to teaching people how to recruit. If you go get all of them to go to GoProRecruitingChallenge.com and register for this challenge, you can have the breakthrough that you deserve, okay? This doesn't have to stay painful. You doesn't, you know, Millicent says she's got 10 girls in the challenge out of 30 personals. It's not the personals, Millicent. First of all, congratulations. It's not just the personals. It's everybody on the team. There's not one task that you can do in the next seven days that will pay you more in 2021 than getting every single person in your organization to be part of the challenge. Every single one, not, to, not just the personals. If you got 30 personals, I'm guessing you got a much bigger organization. Even if you have to personally contact every single one and persuade them to join you on this challenge, it's the highest return task you can engage in in order to be able to have the breakthrough that you're looking for. A lot of people saying they got problems in recruiting. We can help. Don't worry about it. All you got to do is join. All you got to do is join. Abhinav Raj, I know I, I can see you got a problem in recruiting. Join. Go ProRecruitingChallenge.com and that will help you. And Barbara says, I have one active, the rest are sleepers. Let me ask you a question, Barbara. Why do you think they're sleepers? Why do you think? I'll ask everybody else. Put it into the comments. Why do you think the rest of Barbara's people are sleepers? Why do you think? Put it in the comments. Why do you think? I know I get a little lag on this. Sessions are 11 a.m. every day. They're not self-committed. That's what one person says. Not a big enough why. They're unmotivated. They don't know either. Not promoting events. Not motivating more. They don't respond to calls or attend company training. They want somebody else to do the work for them. They, let, they lack belief. They're scared of success. They copy the leader. Goal's not big enough. Here's the thing. 
Barbara, just know it's not you. You know why most, pe most people fade out of network marketing? You know why? Because they couldn't figure out recruiting. They thought it was going to be easier. They had expectations it was going to be okay. And they were going to be able to, to do this. And they were met with not great results. So, Barbara, I would go to your sleepers and let them know, look, if you were intimidated because you couldn't figure out the recruiting thing, let's go figure that out. It's just seven days. Let's go do it. And let's see if we can have some fun. And if we can help you experience a breakthrough, then maybe you can go from being sleeping to waking up. I would go to all your inactives, every single one of your inactives. and involve them in this process because they, it will help them. And it's not always because they do what the leader does. It's not. Some people just fade because they just didn't have results in the, in the recruiting aspect of things. And because they didn't get results, they get discouraged and they, they take off. Crystal says, I hear I'm not a salesperson often. Uh, relax on that, Crystal. I will show you how to handle I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't like network marketing. I'm not a salesperson. I need to pray about it. I got to talk to my spouse. Um, I live in too small of a town. Uh, I don't know anybody. I'll help you with all of those. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com is going to help you do all this. Now, listen, I got to jump on a Zoom in a few minutes. Um, but for now, I just wanted to chat with all of you and let you know, cold market, warm market, you join network marketing for a reason. It's not perfect, our profession, but it is better for the average person. I want to help you get past this pain point and go into the next phase of your career with joy and with hope in your heart to close 2020 strong and to be prepared for 2021. That's what I want you to be ready to do. So be of good, uh, have faith, put love in your heart, put hope in your spirit, and make sure that you load this up. I, we start tomorrow with some preparation, 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow, those of you who register, you're going to be part of this. We start tomorrow um, teaching you specifically how to prepare for this challenge that starts on November 11th. It goes for seven days. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com. Make sure you write that down. Tell your friends, whoever gets the most people to attend is going to win. I'm excited for the next chapter too. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. See you soon.